abundance is abundance, right? Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Honeycrack Homestead. My name is Elise, if you're new here. I've been out here since uh, about 6.40 this morning. I've still got to fertilize a few more of my tomatoes and then go through the corn and squash and fertilize those. Got a couple cherry tomatoes that are that are ready. What are they called? Champagne bubbles. Um, I've still got to go down through my the rest of my tomatoes and go through the, the corn and squash and beans and fertilize those. There was a bee on my eggplant, so I was so excited. And then when I tried to get close, I couldn't find it. Oh well. This is what happens when you don't trim your trim your tomatoes enough or trellis them high enough. This one broke right here, so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and chop it off. 
So instead of trying to save the rest of the plant, I just chopped it off right there at the top. And then you can see it's still giving me a bunch of tomatoes and that's fine. And then I took these off that it um, had already started. Um, and then I just dropped it in the bottom because I've got two more um, that are fully grown and, and setting fruit as well. And then besides those two, I saved a bunch of the stems or a bunch of the suckers that I took off of them. So I should have a bunch. So it's been raining on and off today. Um, you're not supposed to dig potatoes while it's raining. However, um, I don't really have a choice because it's going to be storming for the next three or four days. So I've been over here pulling out potatoes and they're puny. They exist though. So we're going to wash them up and we'll use them this week. It is what it is. But I got to get them up before they rot in the rain because all of them have fallen over like this and they're all, you know, doing this. And there was already, um, I started over there cleaning out some and there was one rotten already. So, <sighs> Good morning, y'all. Um, okay, so, uh, yesterday... I spent the day out here uh, digging up potatoes because it's supposed to, well, it rained last night. Okay, yeah, so it's gonna, it's supposed to rain for the next six days. Um, so I'm gonna get out here and get some stuff done while I can. Um, so I got more. I finished digging up the, the potatoes and what I'm going to replace that with is peanuts because um, you don't want to put the same crop in the same place. I don't know, I think I might have, might have killed one of my blueberries. Okay. Oh, let's sit. I dug up my potatoes. I um, got some more soil. In, and we're gonna put peanuts right there. Um, and then, um, but the peanuts are still, some of them are still germinating. A lot of them aren't uh, that big. So we're still waiting for some of them to, to you know, sprout and get big enough to, to put out here. Probably about a week and a half ago, I moved my strawberries um, so that I could use the beds that the strawberries were in because they weren't producing anything else. Um, they were supposed to be June bearing, but I guess they, they bore in April and, and that was it. Or, yeah. Um, so what I'm doing right now, I've got to fill more soil in. Um, and then plant the rest of these peppers over here next to the eggplants. Um, and uh, I see some flea beetles on the eggplants. I have been battling pests, y'all. Um, there have been flea beetles on the eggplants. There have been uh, Mexican bean beetles on my cucumbers. And what's really messed up is I thought they were ladybugs and they are in the they're like in the ladybug family but they're not ladybugs and they were eating they were eating all the leaves off of my um off my cucumbers <sighs> and i think that's why my cucumber plants have been so unhealthy this whole time because i just left them there thinking they were eating aphids they weren't eating aphids they were they were eating they were eating my plants so um, but I got some, I got some, uh, soapy water and knocked a bunch of them off into there. And then there were Japanese beetles that were attacking my beans, um, and eating all of their leaves. <sighs> Everything wants to eat my garden, y'all. Everything wants to eat my garden. 
and I get it. Like, I'm growing food things, so of course things are gonna wanna eat the food things that I'm growing, but it's like, can I get some for me, you know? I don't know. I dug up the potatoes, and some of them were kinda, some of them were kinda puny, like, honestly. And, you know, I guess it's to be expected. This is my first year putting amendments in my soil. This is my first year, you know, this is my first year really gardening. Like I've been learning about this for, for years and I tried to start last year, but it never got to this point because of life and all the things that happened. But, um, this year I've gotten to this point and it's farther than I've ever gotten and I'm actually starting to harvest things and I don't know it's even though the things that I'm harvesting a lot of them are kind of small um, like my my potatoes were small my onions oh my onions I planted 200 onions right um, we had a really cool wet spring and there was also a ridiculous amount of squirrel pressure. So I ended up harvesting 94 onions. I planted 200 and I harvested 94. And they're, they're small. They are, they're small. And I had to go ahead and, and get them out because, you know, I realized they weren't, that, you know, they had already fallen over, but they were having a ridiculous amount of pressure um, from not only the squirrels, but also from weeds. And that part, my fault completely. I get that. Um, so I went ahead and got the onions out and let those cure and, and braided them. And I mean, I'm still going to use them. They're, they're small, but I'm, they may be small, but they are mighty. <laughs> Whatever. I'm still going to use them. Um, I'm going to use the potatoes that I dug up. I mean, abundance is abundance, right? These are things that these are lessons to be learned. So I may have gotten a small harvest in actual food, but I am getting, I have gotten an abundant harvest in knowledge to take with me to next year. Um, and it's still not, I mean, because I, we have such a long growing season, it's still not technically too late to, um, plant another row of potatoes or you know I'm, I'm not putting potatoes back in that same spot because you don't want to that that's a good way to cause disease you don't want to do that I am putting um, I'm putting peanuts in there I've got those sprouting in the house and some of them are already sprouted um, and looking nice and healthy um, and some of them are still they're still just peaking so We'll put the peanuts where the potatoes were. I've got to um, amend the bed that the strawberries were in and get the rest of the the peppers that I have. I think they're habanero peppers. Um, I gotta get those planted. And then also I've got to up pot all of my berries. Um, I don't know. Should should I just go ahead and put them in the ground? I'm, it's not the right season to plant berries, and I, I missed the I missed the window. I missed the opening. There was a lot going on, and I don't think I'm I can still plant. I don't know. I've got to Google it. But sometimes Google is wrong too, you know. But I'm just sitting here talking. I'm supposed to be working. Um, I don't know. It's it makes me happy to sit here and look at at what has been accomplished so far. 
because I am gardening by myself and I am I'm doing all of this by myself and I've had you know helpers along the way but most of it wouldn't be here if it weren't for my hands and God's heart and Okay, nope. We don't cry this early in the morning. Um, yeah, okay, so let me stop being ridiculous and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, in my zinnias. I need a baby zinnias and my asters. Um, oh, I've been harvesting herbs and whatnot. Those are actually those. Probably I harvest the most, and I've got to go eat a couple fever few leaves because um, those have been. I am a, I am a migraine sufferer, and I have been for years. And it was so bad when I was a teenager that they had me on medication that, you know, didn't help. Um, but I have been eating fever few every morning. I'll come out here and I'll. I mean, I need to. I need to preserve some, but honestly, I don't have enough to preserve. I come out here every morning and get one of these leaves, and I just I eat it because it, you know, it helps. I'll have a little squirrel. Mm. It does taste like aspirin, though. Mm. But. I haven't had a migraine in months since I started doing this and I started eating the leaves when it was still you know kind of a small plant and it is uh, it's kind of gross it is but it helps me so And it's better than putting a bunch of a bunch of medications in my body. But I honestly don't. They didn't help. They didn't solve the root problem. And I know the fever feud doesn't solve the root problem, but it but it does help with the symptoms. And it is it's natural. It's organic. I know exactly what went into it because I put it there. Um, but yeah, I've been harvesting herbs, I've been um, eating my fever few, I've been harvesting all the different mints for teas. Um, my, my basils are still doing kind of poorly, they're, they're a little pulpitly. Um, none of them have really done anything yet. Um, I'll give y'all another, another garden tour when when I have a minute it's just it, it takes a while to film it and edit it and I because it's such a, a I say small garden and it is compared to a bunch of other people's gardens but it's it's actually kind of a lot for you know a first real garden it's weird sitting on here putting my ADHD on full display I need to find an herb that helps with focus. That's what we need. We need focus. Y'all hear it? I'm so tired of the friggin' gun range. I don't know. I'm tired of hearing it all the time as one of the neighbors, but I also want to go there. I don't know. Gun ranges are fun, and I've never been to an outdoor one, so. I've always just, um, there's one in the town I used to live in, the town I grew up in, Fayetteville, um, that it has these little, you know, the things that, that push forward, um, the, if they're holding the paper and they, you know, push the paper forward or whatever, um, you clip the little paper on it and it, it goes back and then you that's what your target practice is um you know indoor it's there's only space for like four people 
on each side. It's, it's kind of a small, I won't say rinky-dink, but like, I mean, it's a small hometown gun range, whatever. Um, but their, their papers have the, the little badgers on them, and I got all the badgers through their eyes. I don't know, that I was proud of that. It was only the second time I had ever been to a gun range. Um, I don't know. I probably shouldn't be talking about this on my channel because I don't know who... I don't know how people feel about... Well, I mean, I do know how people feel about guns. Um, you know what? No, that's not a conversation we're getting into. This is not a political channel. I'm not... I believe everyone has the right to protect themselves. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, so back to gardening. I'm sitting here wasting the wasting the time where it's not hot. I need to go ahead and get started and do the. I need to get this bed filled in and plant these peppers. Um, and I'm going to do the. I've been doing the egg in the hole for all the heavy feeders. So yeah, I did it for all my tomatoes. Um, and I'm also going to. I did it for my eggplants um, and now I'm gonna do it for and some some peppers that I already planted and then I'm gonna do it for um, these habanero peppers that I'm that I'm planting today and then I've got two celery out of like the ten that I planted that are thriving so we're gonna plant those in there too um, but yeah, let me stop talking and get to it. That's Cricket. I don't know if I told y'all. The crows are leaving me presents, y'all. Aren't they pretty? I gotta get some grubs or some mealworms or something to give to them because oh my goodness, they're leaving me presents. Ah! 